So today I'm talking about a P0720 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0720 code? Well, it's an output speed sensor circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, basically many transmissions have what's called an output speed sensor that reports back to the computer how fast that output shaft is spinning. And this allows the computer to know when to shift and different things like this. And when you get a P0720 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this sensor. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting. Oh, why? And one thing to note about this output speed sensor is that usually when there's an issue with it, like it's gone bad or something like that, you're going to get other codes because the transmission is not shifting correctly and things along these lines. So very likely you are going to be getting other codes. And the location of this output speed sensor is going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. Quite often they're located on the outside of the transmission, but sometimes they can even be located inside the transmission. So like I said, it's really going to vary. You will need to get a diagram where all the sensors are located on your particular transmission to know for sure what's going on, because it's really going to vary on the exact location of it. And so what are some possible causes of a P0720 code? Well, the first thing to go do is check your transmission fluid. Be sure that it's not low or really super dirty or anything like this. Because the transmission fluid is low, then it could cause a lot of problems. It could cause issues. Some newer vehicles no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid. The transmission's all enclosed and they won't have a dipstick. But if you can go check the transmission fluid, just be sure that it's not low and that that transmission fluid doesn't look really bad or really dirty or anything like this. Because low transmission fluid can cause a lot of issues. The next thing that could cause this is a bad output speed sensor. If that speed sensor has gone bad, it's going to cause issues. It's going to cause this code. So the next thing to go do is go test that sensor or replace it. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a multimeter, you can test them that way. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can also test them like that. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing it causes is a bad output speed sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the speed sensor. If there's any kind of issue going on there, like an open, a short, anything like this, if that connector has a bad connection on it or something along these lines, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad speed sensor. So the next thing that could cause this is going to be in the wiring. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer, like a bad TCM or a bad PCM. But this isn't very common. This is fairly rare. Usually it's going to be like a bad output speed sensor or it's going to be inside the wiring or something like that. But it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with the transmission control module or the powertrain control module or something like this. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0720 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.